Hey there, today I want to share a bedroom makeover that I did in my parents' home. Um, they have all girls, so this is a girly room and we're all grown up. So we wanted to give this a more adult makeover and turn it into a guest room instead of a little girl's room. So we decided to say goodbye to the butterfly ceiling and get this bedroom updated. I started off by painting the entire room with this Valspar Slipstream paint. It's kind of a warm white. It's really neutral and pretty and I just painted that all over the walls and ceiling for a nice neutral base. Once I had my base coat on, I went in to do a fun color block behind the bed to kind of anchor it in the room, and I'm using Night Swim by Valspar. You might notice I haven't put my tape up yet for my edging. I jumped the gun because I really wanted to see what this color looked like on the wall. Um, but you do want to go ahead and put your tape lines on, and then you're going to take your base coat and paint over the tape, specifically the edge that will be up against the color block to kind of seal this edge in so that no paint can bleed underneath the tape. This is really important on our walls because they're textured and it's just really difficult to get that straight crisp line you're looking for when you're adding a color block detail to your wall. I wouldn't say that I was heavy handed with the paint, but I certainly didn't put a light coat. I wanted to make sure that it was thick enough to really seal up that gap. And then once your base coat's done, you can go in with your accent color and paint over that edge of the tape again. Once your last coat of accent color is on, you can go ahead and peel off your tape. And you can see just how well this method works. The lines were super crisp and I didn't have to do any touch-ups, even with texture. So while we were sprucing up the room, we wanted to add a little bit of art to it to um, really bring out the color we chose for our accent wall and our color block. So we ordered this print, it's a framed print from the company Photo Wall, and I'll actually link, I have a discount code um, for 25% off from anything from their website, so I'll link that down below, but this is kind of like a misty modern mountain scene we got in watercolor with the same blue tones that we had in our color block. So to hang this up, I just kind of used the hack of putting the tape behind the picture and then going in with a pin and marking exactly where I needed my hooks to be in the wall. This saves time and it's easier and more accurate than trying to measure it out and do all that. I also made sure to mark on the tape the midpoint in between the two points so that I could um, line it up with my midpoint on the wall, which I also marked with tape as you can see. Maybe you can see the little line there that I'm matching up. Then you just tape that puppy onto the wall and use a little level. I'm using a level app on my phone, which worked pretty well and was one less tool that I had to go rifle around for in the garage. And once you make sure your tape is all level, you can go ahead and line your screws up with the marks you made and just screw those right into the wall and they should be perfectly placed for hanging your picture. I'll also soon be posting another video from this makeover which was a DIY closet curtain using a drop cloth which you'll see a little sneak peek of in the finishing clips of this room but um, stay tuned for that video.